Hello and welcome to this beginner friendly strength training workout. It's full body, it's going back to basics, really honing in on your form, making you more efficient and just really focusing on functional moves good for everyday life. And strength training is just so important, especially as we get older, for our bones, healthy metabolism, all the good stuff. Now, what you'll need is a pair of dumbbells. I have 10 pounds with me. Grab whatever you have, something medium to heavy, um, and then grab a mat or soft surface, some space, and we're gonna get you warm to start and then we'll get those weights on. The work will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. But yeah, let's start with our warm up and then we will get into the work. Starting at the back of your mat, take an inhale, reach those arms overhead. As you exhale, bring those hands down to heart center, hinge forward, place those hands down, and let's walk out to a high plank. Hold it here, shoulders over wrist, and then let's walk it back. Take those arms overhead, take another inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, hinge forward. Get a nice hamstring stretch before you walk out to that bench worm. Hold here for a breath, and then walk it back. One more, just like that. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. And then walk out to your high plank. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop your left knee down. Flex your right foot, 90 degree bend. Donkey kick, knee comes down and kick. Really driving that heel to the ceiling, activating that right glute. Exhale as you lift. Keep those hips facing the mat, facing the floor. Last two. One, other side. Flex that left foot up now. Knee comes down and up. Feel that belly button in. Spread those fingertips. Keep a nice, strong, steady base. Three, two, and one. Now let's come down onto our bellies. And then we've got some Superman's warming up your back. So arms on, legs on, lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. As you lift, really squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Last two, and one, press up, walk back to that forward fold, roll up slowly, hands over head, and let's repeat, hinging forward, walk out to your inch one, hold it here, walk it back, inhale, two more, Nice juicy warm up today before we get those weights. The last one. Drop that left knee down, flex that right heel, donkey kick. Last two, and one, other side. Straight into the left. Two more. And one, coming down on our bellies. Arms up, lifting up. Shoulder blades back and down.
Really peel that belly button into the spine. Brace your core for three, for two, and one. All right, press back into a child's pose. Just take a nice hip opener. Maybe rock side to side. Really open up those hips. And then when you're ready, come up on your feet. We're gonna start with our weights and our first superset. So grab your weights and let's get ready. First move, a deadlift. So feet underneath your hips, shoulders back and down. We are hinging forward, pushing that booty towards the back wall. Come to just below your knees and then squeezing up at the top. Ready, off we go. Really take your eye level with you and keep that neutral spine. A common mistake is keeping that chin up, so keep it down and then squeezing up. Draw that belly button into the spine. And get that nice stretch in the hammies as you come down. Don't go too far. Because if you go too far, you might feel it in your lower back. So we're just coming to below the knee and then squeezing, using your booty to stand up tall. Nice and slow. Think of that tempo. Two seconds down, two seconds up. One more rep. Beautiful. Now, pop those weights, wrap them up on your shoulder. We have a squat. You can point those toes out slightly and then sit down into your squat, dragging through the heels, standing up tall. Now, I want you to keep those knees soft at the top. Ready? Off we go. Squat and stand up tall, knees soft. So by keeping those knees soft, you're keeping the time under tension and those muscles activated the entire time. Same tempo as that deadlift. Two down, two up. Sit back into the heel, so it's really good to be sitting on a chair, taking that booty back. Try and wiggle your toes to make sure that no weight is in our toes. Last rep, three, two, one. Waist down, shake out the legs. Set number two, we just go back to the deadlift. Set yourself up, shoulders back and down. Core is strong, let's go. Connect that breath. I always like to remind you to move with your breath. So inhale at the bottom, exhale on your effort and squeeze up. Three, two, one. Shimmy it out. Wrap those weights up, get ready for your squat. Knees soft, sitting back, up we go. Good, keep driving those knees out, out over the toes. So make sure when we squat down, the knees don't fall in. Drive them out. Five more seconds. One more. And rest. All right, next superset. Reverse lunges to start. So the weights are going to frame that front leg, alternating stepping back with your reverse lunge. Draw those shoulders. Ready. Up we go. Alternating right to left. Driving through that front heel. 
So drop that back knee down, hover up and inch up the floor. Drag through your front heel to stand up, squeeze up. through the movement today, slow and steady, working that functional strength, focusing on form. So really getting that good technique so you can be efficient, getting the most out of every move, building that strength, firing up that metabolism. 10 seconds. And weights down. Final horse in. And then we move on to that upper body. Take a deep breath. Get ready. Sit down. In that horse set. And hold. Maybe meditate here. Take your mind somewhere else off the pain, off the shaking. The shaking is good, that is a sign of strength, a sign of change. Last 20 seconds, sit into those heels. Now here's the challenge, can you sit an inch lower? Ooh yeah, get down, all the way, five, four, three, two, one. Check that out. All right. Now the leg's going to break. Upper body. We have an upright row to start. So feet underneath the hips, soft knees, zip the weights up and down. Ready, off you go. Now if your weights are a little heavy for this move, you can also alternate right to left. Or if you have a more light to medium pair, or if you're heavy and feeling strong, double. Keep those shoulders back and down. So this one really focuses on those shoulders, back, the arms. In a moment, our next move is push-ups. So dropping those weights, drop it down to the ground. Three, two. One, weights down. So now toes or knees, push-ups. I want your chest all the way down to the ground, so if you need to drop to your knees, you're on your knees. Keep those hips tucked under and come all the way down. Ready? Off we go. So if you're on your toes, chest all the way down. So not little ones here. 
chest down. Like I said, if you can't get that chest down, drop to your knees. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, push up. Strong high plank in between. Legs are switched on, abs are switched on. One more. Good. Second set, grab those weights. Back to that upright row. Soft knees. Ready, off we go. Remember that option is there. You need to alternate. Control on the way down. Zip up through the body. Control. One more. Beautiful. Back to our push-ups, last set. Toes on knees. If you're on your knees, maybe have a go. Just try and get a couple, even one on your toes. Let's go. balances out the chest and those push-ups. So really hit that back for me. Three, two, one. Other side. So now lean on that right side. Weight is in our left arm. Roll the shoulder back and down. Pick that weight up. Get ready. Off you go. Exhale as you drive that weight up. So good. Three, two, one. Now grab that other weight and lay down on your back where the chest press. So plant those feet into the earth, weights up, bring them down. 90 degree bend in the elbow, squeezing up. Ready, up we go. Make sure the wrist is in line with the elbow. 
and think about squeezing the glutes together at the top like magnets. So squeeze, two seconds down, two seconds up. Slow and steady, into the strength. Last one. Beautiful. All right, pop that one weight down. Get ready for that kneeling row on the right. Second step. Doing so good. Three, two, one. Weight up. Second set is where the magic happens. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it around the other side. We lean on that right leg. Weight in our left arm. Ready, off we go. You might see if you feel this in the obliques. This works at core as well. Ten more seconds. And rest. Chest press. Get the weight up and ready. Laying down. Inhale to warm up, exhale to squeeze up. Last one. Beautiful, let's come to our feet now. So we have four exercises, two sets, and then you're done. So this one's focusing on the arms. Starting with a bicep curl. Lift the palms out, ready. Off we go, weights come up and down. Curl and lower. Keep your ears open and tight to the body. So you're just using that bicep strength. Option to alternate right to left as these are smaller muscle groups or yes I guess smaller muscle groups than our major muscle groups are biceps, triceps, we've got shoulders coming up and plus they're isolating just the one muscle other than our other moves that look compound movements where lots of muscles are working at once so take the option if you need it Last one, good, all right, shoulder press. So wings up, tee those arms out, we're so driving up to the ceiling and then down. Ready? Three, two, one, come up and lower. Now option here, if those two weights are too heavy, if you've got heavy weights, 
one wing, driving up and lower. Start at your chest and then come down. You can also add a little push press, bend the knees, especially towards the end. I feel like I need it, my shoulders always burn out so quickly. One more. Good. Drop one weight. Or keep two. I'm going to drop to one. Overhead tricep extension. Bend from the elbows and extend. Now keep. Tailbone tucked under. Belly button just fine. Off we go. So really keep that rib cage in. Core is tight. Good, you should feel this in the backs of the arms. Really press and kick that weight to the ceiling. All the way, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight down, and let's move into a plank. So, low plank on our elbows. Ready, in three, two, one. Tuck that tailbone under, make sure the shoulders are over the elbows. And just hold. Breathe into it. So listen to your body. Take those modifications if you need. No ego here. Good, so strong. Last 10. Three, two, one, shoulder press, one or two weights. I'm going for one, bring those weights up, in line with your shoulder, if you've got two, T, them out to the side, if you've got one, in at your chest, let's go. Press that weight to the ceiling, punch it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, overhead tricep. Last two minutes, guys. Ready? Get that weight up overhead, set yourself up. Let's go.
so strong. Stay with me. 15 seconds. Wrap it up all the way to the end. One more. Good, and weight down. You are done with the weights today. Final plank. Shake out those arms. Shimmy it out. Five seconds, get yourself set up. And let's hold. Be so proud for showing up today and working that strength, feeling strong. Not only for your body, for your mind. Celebrate our movement, hold it here. You got this. You're shaking the move, that's good. Hold on to it. Try not to drop. 15 seconds. This is me shaking. I'm shaking. And rest. Drop those knees. Whew. And let's stretch it out. Even your trainers are human. We shake. We struggle. It humbles you. Take some deep breaths. One more breath. And then let's bring those hands into prayer and let's take a tricep stretch here. Maybe walk those elbows a little further away from you and then sit back. Get a deeper stretch. And then release. Let's take that right leg forward. Press those hips forward. Hip flexor stretch. Take his arms overhead. Deepen that stretch. And then let's sit back hand straight stretch. Just relax and fold over the leg. Flex the heel. With every breath, sink deeper into the stretch. Good. Now other side. Push those hips forward, hip flexor stretch, reach up to the ceiling. And then sit back, hamstring stretch. On the left. Fold over. Beautiful. And then come down, let the push just bring the soles of the feet together. Butterfly the legs. Take an inhale and exhale, come over, fold it over. And slowly come out of it. Cross those legs. I always like to finish like this. Take a couple of breaths, reach those hands up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands to heart center. Do one more. Inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Amazing work. So strong. If you keep showing up, if you keep working that strength, you will just keep getting stronger. And then you'll need heavier weights. Yeah, you always, it's always so good to challenge ourselves and to go back to basics. Even if you're advanced with your strength training, the basics is where it's at. Do not underestimate them. So thank you for showing up and I hope you loved this workout. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.